Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social this side and this is continuation of Azure tutorial. So today we are going to see how we can create the Azure SQL account and how we can create the Azure SQL databases as well. So go to on the browser and we'll try to create that. So here we are in the browser. In the top side, we can search for the SQL. So that you can see the option for SQL Server, SQL databases or we can search for the Azure SQL. So that option is here. So we want to create a Azure SQL Server. So we can click on this. So as of now, we don't have any SQL Server there. So let me click on this create and we'll try to create now. Here we can see we are how to use this. So first we can see the SQL databases. Second is the SQL managed instance and third is the SQL virtual machine. So these three flavors are available for the Azure SQL. So let me going to use the single database. And in the single database, we can see the option for the elastic pool database server. So I'm going to use as a single database inside the SQL databases. Let me click on the create. Now it is going to ask create the SQL database. So here we can see we have to select the resource group under which we want to create it. So we are having this ADF training. So we can select that and we can go down on this. Here we need to specify the database name and the server name. Now I am going to specify the database name as SSU and inside the server name as we can see we don't have any server yet. So we have to create a server. So click on this create new. We need to enter the server name here. So SS unit tech will be the server name. So we can see all good. Now below of this, we can see the option for the use SQL authentication, use only Azure Active Directory, use both SQL and Azure Active Directory authentication. So I'm going to use the use SQL authentication. Here we can enter the login ID. So I'm going to write this as PVI and in the password, I'm going to enter some password here. And again, I'm going to write the same password. Now we can click on OK. So it will take a little bit time. Now here we are having this review and create option. Now we can see the compute and storage. So here, let me go on the configure database option. So here we have to select the purchasing model. So inside the purchasing model, if you want to change the configuration, as of now, we can see it is very high configuration using and we have to spend this much amount on the monthly basis. So I'm not going to use this. I'm going to create this only for the testing purpose. We can go here. And here we can see the option for the serverless. I'm going to use this serverless. And after that, we are good with all these. Now let me click on the apply. So this has been changed with the serverless. And here are other informations available. Now we can see in the downside, in the backup storage, where we want to keep the backup, locally, zone, or geography wise. So I'm going to keep it as geography wise and other things are good now we can click on the review and create now here we can see the product details everything that we can see the this much amount we have to spend for the storage and this compute cost that we can see in the per second everything looks good now we can click on the create it will take a little bit time to create it we can wait as we can see, it is validating here in the right side. You can see the submitting deployment. It will take a little bit time. Deployment is in progress. So here we can see the SS unit tech, which is in progress. Status is accepted. So now you can see deployment is completed. So now go back to the home. And here you can see this is created. So let me click on this. So now you can see this is SSU and 
that is SQL Server database. Now you can see here we are having the option for query editor preview. We can click on that. Now we need to connect. So we have to enter the password here and click on OK. So here you can see it is going to say cannot open the server SS Unitech by this IP. So it is not allowed with this IP due to the firewall setting rule for the master database. Now we need to add this. So here it is updating the server firewall rules. So it is added successfully. Now let me click on OK. So now it will be connected. So here it is connected as we don't have any table here that you can see. So let me try to create a table. So create table. Table name will be like employee and it will be having EMP ID as integer. EMP name will be where care and this would be 50. If we run this, so one table should be created. So go here, try to refresh it. Again, we can see this table. And if we want to insert the data in this, then we can also insert the data from here, like insert into this. And we can add one comma. We can add the name with Susi. Let me run this. So it is got fail due to we did not specify values here let me run it again so one rows affected so that looks good now let me go and try to select this table and we'll see the data in it so select as tick from the table run this so we can see we have one data like mpid one and name is susil and in the message we can see affected rows is one so we have successfully configured the sql server and we have also created the database under that so i hope guys you have understand how we can create it if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos see you in the next video